a hearty welcome to all of you in this video we are about to discuss the types of research gaps available in the previous videos of our channel we have discussed about how to identify the research gap but here we are going to have our insights on what are the research gaps available and how they are going to be identified Now, very first one here it is the evidence gap means contradictory means the results whatever the carried out from the previous studies in their conclusions are right but when examined with another way in the future they might give the different results with respect to their uh, oh, oh, previous method and the further method when we do that there arises a small gap which is a contradictory one then the type of gap is called as evidence gap next one is knowledge gap mainly here wide the knowledge wide means implicated by the knowledge that has been to be existed as per the research findings from the related works and those research findings do not exist hence there arises the gap and represented as knowledge gap next one the practical knowledge gap here the practical knowledge gap the practices are the approaches that have different deviate from the research results and and those are not covered by the previous research works there arises a gap it is because of action knowledge conflict gap hence these type of gaps are represented as practical knowledge gaps next one is methodological gap here these gaps are related to the methodology as well as the research designs here a variety of research methods are necessary to generate new topics or new thoughts and these gaps arise where we have to avoid the findings which were presently the previous papers are of some problematic like they are distorted or they have been fabricated then it is called as methodological gap the next one is the empirical gap here the research findings or their implementations need to be evaluated empirically and have to be verified means eval you if we, if we, we might have get the results with respect to like some images or graphs all those things but we have to evaluate them while evaluating those results there might be a void that has been arisen this void can be called as the gap here due to empirical in nature the last but not the least is the theoretical gap this in this one lack of theory exists because of the theory has to be applied to certain research problems to generate new thoughts new insights new experiences but there arises a gap of theory this type of gap is called as theoretical gap these are the six gap, six research gap types primarily induced other than this there might be one more gap represented as population gap which is not of so important but it cannot be considered this it is not it cannot be considered that it is not of useful and kindly go through the videos of our channel and like and suggest whatever the comments you have to give for developing more content